Hello everyone, I'm Abby, the Relationship Accountant. Welcome to another episode, Taxes for Traders. <laughs> Today, I have an amazing episode for you. We are going to actually discuss TTS. What is TTS? What's the benefit of TTS? What are the requirements of TTS? And are you eligible for TTS and how to apply for TTS? But before we do this, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. So let's get started. What is TTS? TTS is trader tax status. It is literally for traders. And when I explain TTS, I like to specifically go to irs.gov because I want to make sure that all my facts are being checked out. TTS allows you to take benefit deduction. As a day trader, IRS sees you as a business, right? Even though, yes, you may not have an EIN, but as a day trader, if, if trading is what brings food to the table, if you are a full-time trader, IRS says, listen, why don't we give these individuals benefit deductions, business deductions? Now, I do want you to know that TTS is based on court cases. It is not a law. It is not a credit. It, it is not a deduction. It is based on a past court cases that they came up with a list of requirements in, in order for you to be eligible for TTS as a trader. So let's look at those requirements. So what the benefit of TTS is, it allows you to take a benefit deduction, which you can qualify for at the end of the year. So at the end of the year, you would pull up your financial report from your brokerage. You would pull up your trading journal. You would make sure that those requirements are aligned with, with how you have been trading throughout the year. So those requirements are consist of averaging four hours per day trading include include researching. So that could be you being in trading view, reviewing your technicals, you being in Yahoo Finance, you looking into fundamentals, you reviewing that stock P&L, reviewing that company, that's also included in the four hours. You also have to trade 720 trade per year. That's about three to four trades a day. And this is why it's so important that this benefits for full-time traders, not investors, not individuals that trade as a hobby, not someone that's in the stock market once a month or once a year. These are for full time traders. All right. So you need to trade about 720 trade per year. Your trades need to be daily, weekly, and your trades need to be under 30 days. So let's go directly to IRS. What does IRS says? IRS says there's special rules that apply if you're a trader in securities in the business of buying selling security for your own account now the law consider this to be a business irs states that if the nature of your trading activity is not considered a business then you're not a trader you are an investor so irs is literally speaking to traders so irs is saying in the business of buying and selling security for your account the law consider this to be a business even though a trader doesn't maintain an inventory and doesn't have customer. So to be considered this to be a business, you need to be engaged in a business as a trader in securities. So that means that if you are going to open an LLC to trade, it needs to be specifically for trading. So you can't have your e-commerce business and trade under it or your trucking company. You guys hear that? Do not take your trucking LLC and start trading under. So IRS says it needs to be specifically for trading. You must meet those following conditions. Now those following condition, IRS says, you must seek to profit from a daily market movement and the prices of securities and not from dividends, interest, or capital appreciation, okay? Your activities must be substantial, okay? Meaning your trades need, you need to have a good amount of trades. It can't be just one trade a week. No, you need to be trading daily and you must carry on the activity with continually and regularity. Meaning you need to be in the stock market regularly. Okay. So now the following facts and circumstances should be considered and determined if your activity in a security trading business. Here were IRS state. Typically holding periods for security 
bought and sold. The frequency and dollar amount of your trades during the year. So can my trading account be a $200 account and an LLC? No, you need to be a profitable trader. So again, I'm not talking about someone that trade once a year or once a week or once a month. You need to be a profitable trader. This is why I had answered the question, if I am a non, if I'm not profitable, should I be trading under an entity? And the answer was no. All right. So IRS says you need the frequency and dollar amount of your trading during the year. The extent to which you pursue the activity to produce income for a livelihood. So what does IRS is saying here? IRS is saying this, this brings food to your table. This, what you do for a living, you are a full-time trader. So if, when, when someone asks you, what do you do for a living? You say, I'm a trader. I'm a full-time trader. This is what I was talking about. And also the amount of time you devote to the activity. So I'm going to read this word by word. IRS states, if the nature of your trading, literally irs.gov, okay, section 475, IRS say, if the nature of your trading activity doesn't qualify as a business, you're considered an investor and not a trader. It doesn't matter whether you call yourself a trader or a day trader, you are an investor. A taxpayer may be a trader in some securities and may hold other securities for investment. The special rule for traders that don't apply to those security held for, for investment. A trader must keep detailed record to distinguish the security held for investment and for business. So what does that mean, Abby? So the account that you have your long-term investment in needs to be different than the account that you are day trading on. So you don't want to be day trading on your investment account. Does that make sense? So full transparency after three accounts. One is traded under an EIN, which I day trade on. The other is my quarterly account. I only trade four times in that account. And then it's my retirement account. So all my investment on my retirement account, my day trades are the one in the EIN. I don't mix the account. Make sure your accounts have a purpose. Okay, so IRS literally strictly say, don't mix them. All right, and we went over what is TTS trader tax status, what is the benefit of, of TTS, what are the requirements, and what IRS says. Okay, guys, I'm going to answer two questions that I have in my comments. Let's um, look, them, look them up together. Can you trade under an LLC without meeting the TTS requirements? That answer is a yes and a no. Um, the yes part is that you can trade under an entity without, um, um, the TT, all the TTS requirements, as long that you are showing IRS that you are a full time trader. So what requirements Abby, that you could be looking at, um, when it comes to TS that is not aligned with the LLC, that requirements that would be the end year. So um, at the end of the year, when it comes to TTS, you need to review all of your requirements. That's when you know you're eligible. Whereas under an LLC, whereas under an entity, it's not the end of the year, it's throughout the year. Okay, so it's throughout the year. Another thing is that TTS is, is, is not a law. So at any time, you know, TTS can be gone. So now um, it's December, and um, IRS may say, or um, the government may say, listen, we no longer offer t trader tax status. You no longer can actually take the business deduction for a trader tax status. Then what you're gonna do? There's no more TTS. But having your, um, your entity not only provide you with a liability, meaning an umbrella of protection, but you know, you'll be able to trade as a business, whereas TTS is not trading as a business. It is not, okay? All right, next question was, why should a person set up an LLC to trade under versus TTS, um, tax trader status to trade under? The reason why you will find an individual would prefer to actually trade under an entity instead of TTS is 
the purpose what we discussed earlier so trader tax status is not a law okay um trader tax status is literally back court cases um that has been gone through and been reviewed um which where those requirements came from so at any time trader tax status can disappear so and the other thing is that too sometimes right let's just say um this year i didn't trade 720 trade am i eligible for tts no i'm not but let's just say I traded 700 trades and I'm trading under an LLC. Would I still be able to deduct my expenses? Yes. So um, this is why you will find, and, and, and also too, that individual may, may be wanting to run a trading business. They want an entity. That's their livelihood of living. This is what they do for a living. So, um, that those are the reason why you would find someone would probably want to set up an LLC to trade under instead of TTS and vice versa. You may find someone that wants to trade under TTS, but don't want um, to have an entity. That person simply is saying, listen, I do not want to run a business. You know, if this year um, I did everything that I was supposed to do under the TTS requirement, then I want those benefits. Is one option better than the other? Not necessarily. Um, just know that you do have those options and you can take advantage of either or of them. Okay, I hope I answered both of those questions for you guys. Um, if you do have any other questions, don't hesitate in the comment, drop them down and I will definitely either do a video about, uh, about it or I will respond to you. Now remember, if anything anyone says to you regarding taxation, regarding accounting, regarding trading, taxes, when it comes to trade, always do your uh, fact check, go to irs.gov, read those publications. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. I hope this was helpful.